Iraqi Jewish community left, the bulk majority left in 51. And then the minority left in the late 60s, early 70s. And when they left, they left behind them a heritage of 2,600 years. A life that was so stable, as opposed to any other Sephardi community. And then suddenly, woof, in one go, you're changing position as a community. It's amazing. My father, when he was born, there was no state of Israel, full stop. I mean, that is incredible, incredible. 2,600 years is a, a long, long time for a community to spend in exile and for us to see it in our own lifetime, to see that exile ending and going back to the very state that we were thrown out of 2000. It's just an amazing thing. There is a connection between the Jewish people and Iraq. There are shrines of our prophets there. More prophets are buried in Iraq than in Israel. Do you think it's easy just to suddenly, one year says goodbye, that's it, leave you there? I want to show you this. This is, uh, look. So this is how these were found. This is how they were packed. But this is like a living collection that, like no other. This speaks to us. This is birth certificate. This is marriage. This is uh, school. This is this is the 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 life that we lived until something happened and, and it just stopped. And now it's back facing us. And really, why I brought you here, and why did we come here, is for one reason. I want to tell you my story. I don't want my ancestors' achievements to end in my lifetime. I don't want me to be the last link in the chain. I will do whatever I can that there will be at least one more link. I want to show you something here. Okay, I've seen that before many times. In 1951, over 100,000 people were living, including Baba Moshi, my grandfather. Great grandfather. Yeah, great grandfather. And you are now approaching now an age to. where in 10, 20 years time, you will not be able to tell your children what happened and who you are. This is the beginning of the end of the Iraqi Jewish community. Mm -hmm. You have not parted enough of your identity, of what you've learned, of, you, what, of what your ancestors have imbued into you. You have taken it too lightly. You have taken it too much for granted. Time to wake up and pass it on. Time to wake up and say, who am I? Where am I going? Look at this. Okay. This is the trigger. This, when I saw Edwin Schuker, Ibtidai at Frank Aini, school certificate, the little boy, that is frightened, look at his eyes, 1967, the war. I look at this boy and I see him looking back at me and saying, you know what, I made it. Because at the time, at that time, that boy did not know whether he's gonna make it or not. And it's almost, I wanted to hug that child and say to him, you know what, you've made it. Don't worry anymore, you can rest. This was a, much, much more for me than a school certificate. This was in one sight, everything I wanted to forget and everything I wanted to remember at the same time. I want to take on all the things that I've been keeping in my heart. Seeing this, I pass it on to you. You are my next generation.